The water levels have been dropping this week in Porto Alegre, and some neighborhoods are finally drying out. But what is left behind is not pretty. Mud is everywhere and piles of trash line the streets as people clean out their homes and throw away all their ruined possessions. At least two squats are being cleaned right now, anarcho-queer squats Kalisa and Jiboya. With the money we raised so far, we bought them cleaning products and protection gear like gloves, goggles and rubber boots. Essential items to remove the filth brought in by the flood while protecting against diseases like leptospirosis. We've also bought a pressure washer, which will be part of a collective toolkit available to all comrades in need. We also purchased two inverters to help rebuild the solar power system used by the indigenous Mbia Guarani community, who have reclaimed their lands in the extreme south of Porto Alegre. All this was only possible thanks to the dozens of donations that we've received so far, but the remediation and reconstruction is only beginning, and spaces like Ocupa dos Mil Povos are still underwater. It's estimated that this extreme climate event has already wrought more damage than Hurricane Katrina did in the land stolen by the United States. As the costs associated with the cleanup and reconstruction are enormous, we have increased our fundraising target. A huge thanks to everyone who has donated so far. Your help has been very important for us to rebuild and strengthen our community to keep fighting the state and capitalism. <laughs>